All right, guys, so <clears throat> I want to go over my uh, study guide for tomorrow. And so let's look at problem number one. Uh, problem number one says car travels with a velocity of 60 kilometers per hour relative to the ground. A second car travels with a velocity of 15 kilometers per hour west relative to the ground. What is the velocity of the first car relative to that of the second car? So what I do is I draw vector diagrams, one of the car that's going east and the other of the car that is going to the west. And so uh, remember when two objects are coming towards each other and you have to add up their total velocities to find the relative velocity. So the relative velocity is going to be 75 kilometers per hour um, to the east because remember, you're looking at it from the perspective of the second car. All right, uh, for problem number two, it says if two tennis players run at a speed of one meter per second, but in opposite directions, they will have the same speed, but different velocities, okay? They can have the same speed because they're both moving at one meter per second, but since they're moving in opposite directions, that means that their velocity is gonna be different. Remember, velocity is a vector, vector means the magnitude along with the direction, okay? All right, um, for number three, cars traveling at 24 meters per second next to a train that is traveling in the same direction at 32 meters per second. What is the velocity of the car relative to that of the train? Well, notice they're both going the same direction, trains going 32 meters per second, car going 24 meters per second. So. If you're on the train, you're going to end up passing the car. And when you pass the car, it's going to be as if the car and the train are going opposite directions. Okay? So it's going to look like the car is going in the opposite direction at 8 meters per second. So that's why I put that minus sign just to say that the car looks like it's going in the opposite direction that the train is already going. All right, number four, a motorized cart travels 10 meters in four seconds. What is its speed during this time in meters per second? Guys, you'll probably see no easier problem than this one because speed is simply the distance divided by the time. Distance of 10 meters divided by a time of four seconds will give you a speed of 2.5 meters per second. All right, number five, you're looking at four different position versus time graphs. And so what you're having to do is you're having to Describe the type of motion going on. Guys, anytime you see a curve, that should be a giveaway that the speed is changing. And if you see it curving over this way, that means it's slowing down. Now, if you see a nice flat line, that means that it's going at constant speed, but it's going at a constant speed going away from the origin. Notice the origin is here. Drill zero. Okay? So that object is moving at a constant speed but going away from the origin, okay? All right, for letter C, notice that the object is going at a constant speed, yet it's going back towards the origin. The origin remember, is understood to be zero. The object starts away from the origin and now it moves toward the origin going at constant speed. Uh, for a position versus time graph, if you ever see a flat line, that's indicating that the object is at rest. It's not moving. It's stationary. It starts at this position and it remains at this position the entire time. Therefore, it is at rest. Okay. Last question, number six, on this particular side. And um, I'll have another video, part two, of the unit test review. They're asking, what is the magnitude of the average velocity of someone sprinting 40 meters east in three seconds and then turns to walk west for 10 meters in three seconds. Okay, so first of all, average velocity is the displacement divided by the time. And remember, to find the displacement, the displacement is where an object starts to where it finishes. Notice it's uh, 40 meters east and then it ends up going 10 meters west. So you take 40 meters minus 10 meters which is 30 meters, overall positive, and then you get the total time of 3 seconds plus 3 seconds is 6 seconds, so 30 meters divided by 6 seconds is going to be a um, velocity of 5 meters per second. All right, um, I hope that helps you with the front side, the first side of your